everyone. Can you hear me okay? Thanks. Um, my name is Abby, and thank you so much for having me. I'm new to C3. Uh, my husband and I and my family have been coming for the past three-ish months, and um, I'm so grateful to say that this has been the safe place uh, that Brad mentioned a few weeks back that I have been longing for and my family has been longing for, a place to be seen and heard in all my mess and all my goodness and everything in between. As I have reflected on the phrase, what the world needs now, I kept coming back to this picture book, The Rabbit Listen by Corey Dorfeld. Uh, for a bit of background, um, I'm a librarian. I've been a children's librarian for over a decade, and I'm a library director now at Allendale Township Library, if you want to visit me. Um, and so stories are what move me towards our common humanity. Um, it's where I find my truth and common ground with my fellow human. So uh, I hope this book speaks for itself. Normally, I would invite everyone up to the front for the young and young at heart so you can see the pictures really well and hear the pictures really well. So I often tell children to turn on your ears, close your mouth, and listen with your heart. Um, so this book is called The Rabbit Listened. I'm a little shaky, so ignore the... One day, Taylor decided to build something, something new, something special, something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, oh, do you see? <laughs> things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so very, very, very sorry this happened to you. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Rawr! How horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Rawr! But Taylor didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trump of the eye can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. One by one they came, the hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, well, let's pretend it didn't happen. Let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tsk tsk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. <laughs> but Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody, so eventually they all left until Taylor was all alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. And through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. The end.
Thank you all for being such great listeners.